when I say that there's no use in scapegoating Hitler, Stalin, all of them, plenty of people take it to mean they didn't do something bad enough for us to scapegoat them, or we should be nicer than that, some garbage like that. Meanwhile, to scapegoat something is to blame it and then solve the problem by getting rid of it or by hating it so much. So, you know, we just hate Hitler enough and then we're good people. Scapegoating came from the Bible, where there's a problem in the village, a real problem, here's a goat, the problems go into the goat, according to our imaginary friends, we send the goat out and the problems are gone. There's never an excuse to scapegoat Hitler, Stalin, any of these people to say, you know what, they were bad, we solved the problem. The point I always make is Hitler never killed anyone, except maybe in the First World War where he was actually fighting. But all that death you hear about, Hitler didn't do it. Stalin didn't do it. Nowadays, George Bush didn't do it. Barack Obama is not doing it. There's no sense in scapegoating these individuals. It's an atmosphere. And we have an atmosphere of self-righteousness, of hyper-supposed nationalism and all this. The idea that we get to create the rules, a set of rules for ourselves and a set of rules for others. So when you have an idiot like Rand Paul talking for 13 hours on the Senate floor to filibuster something not important, but really to talk about these drone strikes, you mean the United States is going to allow us to have drone strikes on United States citizens, United States soil without a trial? That's not what we fought for in 13 hours. And the part you should be paying attention to is where Rand Paul says that kind of stuff is only appropriate outside the United States. They bomb entire caravans just going from somewhere where we suspect people are bad to somewhere we suspect people are bad. They just bomb the whole thing. Signature strikes where they kill people. They don't even know who it is. They just suspect. For 13 hours, Rand Paul talked about that's what they do there, which we need that. Are, are you saying, or do you really believe we should have that here? I don't want them to apply the same rules here that they apply. That is insane. And you know what? I do want them to apply the same rules here. If we can carpet bomb people we suspect there, yes. If you can tell somebody, if you're in charge of, of brigades or whatever, and you say, hey, we think that person's bad, shoot him in the head, sniper. I got friend, family and friends that are in the military. I got family and friends that are snipers or have been. And they come back messed up, not able to adapt to a culture. No, 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 we talk things out now. No, 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 we, we actually, that stuff doesn't work when you've been told, no, that's, we think they might be bad, carpet bomb them. Oh, we think they might be bad, headshots for everyone. If that's going to be the MO around the globe, then yes, corny ass, hypocritical, half ass philosopher, philosopher, politicians like Rand Paul, yes, we should have that here. Jeez. We should have drone strikes on U.S. citizens without trial, if that's what's going on elsewhere. You want to create that system? You want to give the go-ahead to the Hitlers and Stalins of today, the George Bushes and the Barack Obamas? That's, they never did as bad as so Stalin. How dare you call Hitler or call Obama Hitler and call Bush Stalin or vice versa? Again, I'm not saying Stalin was so bad or Hitler was so bad. What? You're not? They were bad. No, the pawns and hypocrites and idiots that bought into their messages were so bad. So the mouthpiece of the 40s in Germany, Hitler. The mouthpiece of the year 2000 in the United States, George Bush. Hitler is George Bush. Barack Obama is Stalin or any mix of that. These mouthpieces, you want to give them carte blanche and then say, for example, the people that allowed George Bush to go to war, that gave him the authorization, including Barack Obama giving him the authorization. Well, we gave him the authorization to kill these people mindlessly, not these people. It got out of hand. You want to give those kinds of blanket authorizations to the Hitlers and Stalins of your day? Absolutely. We need that to apply even here. As has been said, a th a threat to justice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. You want to act unjust around the globe? 
absolutely it should be here and it will be here that's the nice thing it's not like i have to want it that is what will happen you won't be able to draw these distinctions of well as long as it's not inside of our boundaries hey do whatever let's make sure people don't get onto u.s soil or else we have to try them in an actual semi-decent court instead of just taking them to a military prison where they they get treated with torture well that's okay because then it's a separate set of rules haha ha, there's no consequences cause and effect doesn't apply we don't have insane troops now who really believe that because someone told them it's okay the perils of obedience someone told them it's okay to torture that person to deprive that person of rights and liberty due process well they weren't on they, uh, due process doesn't apply to them justice is just a good way to treat people it creates a society of intelligent informed involved individuals with good priorities ideally it's not just something well are you from our imaginary boundaries okay then you get due process it's a better way to think about how to treat others to say nope nope you weren't you didn't technically get here so we're going to put you in a military prison and torture you without charge that is the atmosphere of our international politics that can absolutely be the atmosphere of our national politics and should be as malcolm x said chickens returning to roost this is what you got here made your bed lie in it it's not going to suddenly stop i think the last thing i'll say about this is this fear of what is it called when they um when they're looking at you a lot surveillance the surveillance state and this that and the other thing get some black friends regular black people nobody even too thuggish and ask your black friends about surveillance states Ask them what their parents and their grandparents know about surveillance state. The idea that, you know what, all of a sudden it's a surveillance state. Things were good. We need to return to that golden era where it wasn't a surveillance state for certain elements of society. No. It's been like that. Ignoring that isn't going to give any more credibility to the idea. We shouldn't have drone strikes on the United States citizens. Why not? They were gang members. Don't worry. They were black and wore clothes that were a little bit different. Don't worry, it's cool. Drone strikes without any charges. No, that area is known for such and such. Here's a picture of a kid. Therefore, drone strikes. This propaganda, this propaganda has been going on for a long time. This kind of, they're terrorists, communists, anything like that. Therefore, we shouldn't follow any rules. Rand Paul and those types, a whole lot of hypocritical idiots. Justice is not going to exist in this silly vacuum where you can give complete immunity to fairness. You can give that to the Stalinists, to the Stalins and Hitlers of your day, the George Bushes and the Barack Obamas. The people you can justify giving terrible power to. Heroify your Nazis of this era to go and do unspeakable things. And then last thing I'll certainly say is, and then put people like Bradley Manning in prison for pointing out, hey, they broke their own rules. They are killing innocent people. Hey, someone put that guy in jail and torture him for 20 years. How dare he tell the truth? This is the, the police state. It doesn't get worse than this. This is it. All those depictions you saw in movies where it's, no, it'll be really dark and there will be things blaring. No, it won't be like that. It'll be really happy like it is. A whole lot of stuff will be going on. Entertaining. This is that police state where people can be killed without trial. Can be taken away into gulags without trial. Well, no, this was fine as long as they were doing it to the black people that you didn't like, or to the terrorist type Muslims. But then like sometimes you get some Muslims that weren't terrorists, but you couldn't have known that. And now it's just gonna keep happening. The system got started, the system will keep going. And no amount of hypocritical, wait a minute, the line should be right here. You all good luck. We had a civil rights bill for you black people. We 
change this or that way we talk about you terrorist Middle Easterners. So you know, but the line is right here. We don't want surveillance on this side of the line. There is no golden era to return to. Go back to sleep.